Hello there and welcome to the new Tableau tutorial and in this Tableau tutorial what I will show you is a new feature which was introduced actually in Tableau 2020.1 is the dynamic parameter. So dynamic parameter has been a very long request from the Tableau developer because whenever in the earlier version you have created the Tableau parameter or the parameters the values were not automatically updated whenever it is based on any particular date. So for example, I have the dates over here, which is let's say the stock dates and uh, it has the stock value on these respective dates. Now, whenever the new date is coming next day, the parameter will not going to be updated automatically. So for example, this dates parameter, if you have, and there are some calculations or there is some action which is going on based on these, uh, this parameter, then uh, it won't be updated automatically prior to the version 2020.1. You may have to do some workaround, but it's, it's not the feature which was available. But now after the release of 2020.1, uh, you have the option of dynamic parameter and that's what I'm going to show you. So very simple table if you see what I have over here is basically the date and stock price. And if I just go back, this is the same date and stock price you are having. And then what we have is the latest stock price that is based on uh, whenever the next day stock price is coming, I will always have the latest value. Or maybe let's say you have a dashboard where you have the KPIs or may have metric where you always want to show the latest value. Now, this can be one use case, but there can be n number of use cases. For example, in your order date uh, that, that comes with the uh, with the ship the sales superstore data set you want to find always or whenever you open your tableau dashboard you always want to have the latest date uh, your dashboard refreshed by the latest date so how you can do that well to do that what we need to do is first import the data like always so if you see what i have imported is this data however this is the newly calculated field and then and then if I go to the sheet over here, you will see that uh, we have date and we have stock price and there are some fields which I've created and I will show you in a minute what I've done over here. But before that, what I want to show you is uh, this Excel where if I, let's say, add one more value. So what I'm going is on, I am adding the 25th of October and let's say the price is 1800. Right. This is a new date and the price is added 1800 and I have saved this. Now, if I just go back to the Tableau and uh, let's say if I just close this, I'll go ahead and close it from here, press save. And then I come back here and I open this Tableau, which I have been using. So you will see that new date has been added and the value of the new date is automatically updated right so earlier it was up until 10 24 now it's 10 25 and the value is also updated accordingly so how can you get this functionality within your tableau dashboard very simple explanation so the first thing is what we have done is created the parameter the way you create the parameter is by coming here and clicking on create parameter once you create the parameter you will provide the name. Let's say I'm providing date two over here and here I will change this to date. And over here I have this option of current value, but I also have latest date because latest date is something what I've created, but I'll show you in a minute. If you don't have this calculated field, you will only see the current value, right? And whatever the current value is, your, your dashboard is automatically updated. And this is also a very useful feature. Say, for example, uh, you always want to open your dashboard based on a particular value that you have selected or you have given here in the date field. So that's also a very useful one. Uh, now, what I have is basically uh, the list of values over here. And if you see, the this is the fixed one that I can get it from date or whenever workbook open, I will select this one and pick the date. So date is present over here. And when I click OK, what I have is the date too. So if you see in previous parameter, which I created is the same setting 
that I have done. Only thing is here I have used the later state, which I will show you in a minute what I have done work there. So and when workbook opens, it will going to pick the date from there. So that means whenever the new sheet, the new values that has been added in your sheet or in your data source, the workbook will going to take or the parameter will going to take the value directly from there. So whenever the new values are present, it will parameter will going to check whether the new value is present and if yes, then it will be updated. Okay, so now what do I need is basically um, over here, I want to show this this latest stock price that is based on the um, latest date. So what I have done over here is I have created the edit uh, the latest date and it's a very simple date which is using the uh, la level of detail calculation and why level of detail calculation because the field needs to be independent of the visualization and because of that I am using the fixed value over here however there is an alternative as well so fixed is uh, making sure that it is independent or LOD is making sure it is independent and max date is giving me the latest date and that's what I have chosen over here in the field latest date and the same thing I can do it over here in the newly created parameter here I can choose the latest date so the current value will always be the latest date in that case so I'll click okay now if you see I am using this this price as well stock price filter as the um, as the latest date so what I have done is again created another calculated field to bring the most latest value based on the latest date so if I just click edit what I have done is if date equals to dates or this parameter and this parameter value the current value for this particular parameter will always be the latest state because of this calculated field so first we created parameter then we created calculated field to find the latest state and then we created the stock price filter where we are comparing this date the actual date which is coming from the sheet with the date parameter which is having the latest date and then we are saying if our date is equals to this date so in this case the most recent date is 10 25 so whenever the parameter date is equals to the most recent date or the actual date is equal to the parameter date which is the most recent date then only you give the stock price and that's why we are only having the 1800 now this is something which you can have step by step based on all the calculation that is present the exercise which you can take based on this is finding the minimum price or finding the price of 17 so what i've done i have found out the latest price but what is the initial price that that is there and based on that you can do certain calculation like on a daily basis if you see the stock price is increasing by 100 right so you can always do all those sort of calculations so as an exercise find the minimum date with the help of these para the dynamic parameter and that will be an amazing exercise for you as an opposite to what i have done here so i hope you have found this explanation useful if there is any question you let me know in the comments and if you have a special use case related to the dynamic parameter then also let me know if you have solved anything related to the dynamic parameter then also let me know I think it will be very helpful to learn even from you so that not only I but other can also learn based on your experience. So that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video.